It's Mental Health Awareness Month, so let's talk about how to navigate social media so you can thrive and not sacrifice your mental health. There's two different types of users. First, let's go over the casual user. This is the person that's posting everything that they love, their selfies, friends, family, pets, special milestones in their lives like their anniversary, anything that they feel like they wanna share with the world, that's what they're posting. And then you've got the second kind of user, which is a business or an influencer. This is someone that's wanting to gain an audience that is intentionally posting to curate their feed in a way where they can get people that are going to buy the product that they're trying to sell. They're trying to build connections. And honestly, I know a lot about this because I've been in social media for eight years. So if you're interested in learning more about that, come see me and talk to me directly in my community, Empress Energy, and I can really help you out with this. But let's keep moving. What I want you to understand is that there's no control over the results that you get. Whether you have a personal casual page, a business page, slash influencer page, anything that you have that you're doing on social media, you have no control over the results that you're getting. You just are putting your stuff out there and there's algorithms and robots that determine what is going to happen. Just try to make it the best you can and be happy with it. That's the best way to approach social media and enjoy using it. And let's go over inputs versus outputs because that's another big thing here that a lot of people don't understand. So first up, you've got the inputs. This is how often you post, how often you engage with your audience. These are the things that you have control over, your input how good the content is. If the content's performing well, you post more of it if you're a business and you're looking to gain people. If it's just for you, it doesn't matter. You just post it because you like posting and it makes you feel good. You're sharing what you love with the world regardless of whether you're getting likes, comments, shares, anything. And then you've got your outputs, which are the likes, the views, the followers, the comments, but you don't have any control over this. You only have control over your input. And that's the thing, everyone gets so obsessed with the metrics, but like, girl, you do not have any control over these metrics. Like I said before, it's robots, it's algorithms. We have no control over these things. You can't make people like or comment. And if you do, it's kind of scammy, so I don't recommend doing it. Just let things be. Just post and keep moving forward. Focus on what you can control because if you don't, your emotions are going to be like a roller coaster. You are gonna get so sad, so burnt out, so overly happy. That's the thing here. We don't wanna be feeding it into our emotions. We wanna separate our emotions from the input that we're using social media for. And I also want you to lower your expectations, girl, because your expectations are up here. They gotta come down, girly. If you think it's the best video ever and you're like, I'm gonna go viral with this and you get let down, that is going to make you so upset and depressed and make you not wanna post again. And that's not what we want here. We wanna stop being like this. Don't get super excited because it could get zero views. It could get 10 views, all that effort and energy down the drain because you got so overly excited about it. Stop getting overly excited because I've been there, girl. I've gotten my little hopes and dreams crushed because I put so much time, effort, and energy into something and it didn't work out. And I don't want you to do that. So that's why I'm here telling you like learn from my mistakes don't get so excited don't get so worked up over a good video that you put a lot of effort and energy into and even if it does go viral right and you get those likes and you get those comments and you get those followers they may not stick around it may not keep happening so regardless even if it's working out right now stop having your expectations up here lower them girly even if it's just a little bit Just lower your expectations. And some of the best videos I've had require the least amount of effort. Some of the best videos I make are the days where I feel like crap, I feel like dookie, like they come out good. So just keep showing up, just keep trying. Don't always come into this where you're like, it has to be the best thing ever, it has to be perfect. Perfectionism is gonna stop you from even getting started. And I highly recommend you don't do that. Instead, I want you to have a mindset shift. I want you to just enjoy the process. I want you to be excited that you're doing this, that you're able to do this. Be grateful that you have a phone to record with, something that you can record yourself doing something cool to show off to the world. And be patient, girly, because I know we all want instant gratification. Unfortunately, social media did this to us. We always want instant gratification with everything that's going on around us and all it's doing is making it harder on us. So that's the thing. When you realize that instant gratification is just truly not achievable, that's when you can fully 
get through it and understand that it's just a process that you have to be patient with. Most importantly though, I want you to understand this. Don't post for views. Be passionate about what you're posting and pretend like you're just doing it for a hobby. If you're doing this as a personal influencer type of thing, just do it for you and also to help others because you're passionate about it. You don't wanna be doing it for the views. You don't wanna be making content that doesn't align with your core beliefs and values because you're going to be upset with yourself if you go down that path. It's not going to lead to a fulfilling path and that's what I really need you to understand. Like you can't do it for the views. You can't do it because that's what people like. That's not what you like, then don't do it. Do it because you like it first and foremost and that you feel passionate about this thing and you want to help others through the thing that you're talking about. This could go for any kind of business. It could be something that you're selling. It could be something that you're trying to sell yourself as. Anything, seriously, just make sure that it aligns with you and your core beliefs and values. And once you understand this, please know that no one is truly judging you. Maybe just for a moment in time, they might be judging you, but they're gonna forget about that hate comment that they left you. We'll get more into that in just a sec. But if you're an authentic person and you are coming off as your true authentic self, people will be drawn to you and the wrong people will be repelled. They will not want to be near you and they will go away. That's what you want. You want the right people in your life and you want the wrong people to go away. And let's talk about how you can actually get through using social media without sacrificing your mental health because that's why you clicked on this video. So let me explain. I want you to stop obsessing over your growth and your engagement. Refreshing that damn page all the time isn't gonna make you grow any faster. I just want you to post and I want you to close the app and walk away. Get off the app, get off your computer, get off whatever you just posted on because that is not good for your mental health to keep refreshing that page. I've been there and to this day, girly, I'm with you. I feel it. It's hard. It's an addiction for a reason. They make it so hard to get off of these apps. They really truly do. They've got these hunchback nerds, right? They're getting paid so much money to keep us glued to these apps. I'm serious. Just take yourself seriously and say that you're better than that. You know about it now, so you can control this. You can get through this. It's not an overnight fix, but the more you remind yourself of it, the easier it's gonna get, and the more you're just gonna be able to post and move on, because that's what you gotta do. And there's apps that can help you too. I've recommended it in other videos, but I'm here to recommend it again. If you got an iPhone, download this app. It's called Clear Space. And if you've got an Android, download the app called One Sec. It kicks you off the app, so that way you can't stay on. It's gonna kick you off. After five, 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever you want, it's gonna kick you off after you're done posting anyway. So if you don't have self-control, which most of us don't, we compulsively click on these apps and it's really hard for us to have that self-control to get off. That's why I highly recommend these apps. So give them a chance, download them. I'm not sponsored, not affiliated. I just want to save people's lives because these apps are controlling our lives. And I want you to take back control of your life, girl, because there's so much more to life than being being stuck on these fucking social media apps. They really do take up so much of your time, effort, and energy. Go take a look at your screen time. Seriously, it's probably through the roof. Like, stop with this shit, girlie. And your notifications, too. Fucking turn them off. I, I know you got your notifications turned on for the dumbest shit, like the news or the weather. You can have your text messages turned on still. Have your text messages and your calls turned on and everything else, I want you to turn it off. You've got Snapchat notifications probably, Instagram notifications. You may have notifications turned on for me. And you may think I sound like I'm crazy, right? I'm not. Please, you need to focus on things. You need to focus on other things that are more important in your life, not what is going on in the modern world. This has gotta stop. Get out and go enjoy nature. Stop being glued to your phone. All it's doing is holding you back from enjoying life and making memories, lasting, long lasting memories with friends and family. Please, seriously, just fucking turn off your notifications and thank me later because you're gonna live a better life that way. But let's keep moving. All right, so let's talk about the bad side of social media because it's not all butterflies, rainbows, and sunshine. So please, girly, do not take comments to heart. Most of the people leaving these hate comments, because they'll happen, maybe they don't happen yet, maybe you're really small, they happen, okay? When you grow and you get big, people get upset, they get jealous, and they wanna bring you down because they're in this low vibrational energy, right? And you're, you're on this high vibrational energy when you're growing. People are jealous, they wanna grab at it, right? It's like that crab mentality, like they wanna bring you down with them. So what I want you to understand is that you should not be taking these comments comments to heart. 
please stay on a good high vibrational energy frequency here. You gotta stop taking these comments to heart, girly. And the best thing for you to do is to ignore them. Please do not feed into them. I've learned my lesson so many times the wrong way and it gets worse. It can get so ugly. Please do not feed into hate comments. People are freaking crazy. They've made fake accounts about my business. I've had, I really have had the worst experiences with the bad side of the internet. So please take my word for this. Do not feed into hate comments. You will regret it. Don't do it. Just listen to me right now, clearly, and remind yourself of this part of this video that you do not want to feed into hate comments. You cannot fight negativity with negativity. The best thing for you to do is to ignore it. And if it's something really bad that can taint your business, you should delete it. If you can, the best thing for you to do though is to leave the hate comment. I know it takes strength, it takes courage, it takes you being the better person here. That's what this is about, for you to leave that hate comment. If it's nothing to do with bringing a personal thing about you down or your business, just leave it and let it be because that is going to be the best way for you to win is by them not getting an answer out of you because that's what they want. They want you to feed into it and you're not gonna feed into it, girly. You're gonna let it be. And a lot of people won't mention this. Like, I, I feel like this is just not talked about enough. You need a thick layer of skin. You really need to grow a thick layer of skin if you wanna take social media seriously and you wanna grow with it. And even if you just wanna post as a casual user, people still can make fun of you. People can be mean. It's just that side of the internet that kind of sucks. It's like the real world too, though. There's There's good people and there's bad people. And what we do with the bad people is we just ignore them. We do not give them our time, effort, and energy because those things are valuable. They cost a lot of money. There's no price tag on it, but trust me, girly, these things are the most expensive thing you have. It's your time, effort, energy. That's money on the line. Don't let them take your money. Don't let them rob you of that. Fuck that shit. Stop letting them take it. And I know I said this before, but I'm here to say it again. I really want you to enjoy the process. Like personal, casual, business, influencer, just enjoy the process. Take things easy, make things easy. I say that a lot. It's for your feminine energy too. Please girly, make things easier. If there's a way to make it easier and you can do that, then you should be doing that. No one cares how hard you're struggling. No one cares how hard you work on something. They are not seeing it. That's the thing. Like you know that, right? But no one else knows that. So make things as easy as possible and make them as enjoyable as possible because that is how you are going to keep going. And make sure to take care of yourself in this process too because it's not easy. People will say, oh, this job is so easy. It's so fun. Everyone should be doing it. I'm here to tell you that is not easy. It's not easy. So you need to take time to take care of yourself. You need to make sure that you're eating food that makes you feel good and not feeling like sluggish and dragging and drained and ugh, like you feel like a sloth and you just don't feel like doing it today. That's bad food, honestly. I'm gonna say that so the day I die, like people just don't realize that the food that they eat directly correlates to how they feel and show up for themselves and for the world around them. And you gotta relieve your stress in the right ways. Step away from the internet. Get off the internet when you are done posting. Seriously, I can't say that enough. Like people don't take that seriously. They will keep refreshing. Well, there's like these little growth hacks where you can go and like other people's stuff and comment. And that is such small, minuscule little thing here, right? Look at the big picture. You're looking at your mental health and your mental health is on the line. And the longer you stay on these apps, the harder it's going to be to keep up with it and to make it easier on yourself. So I really highly recommend stepping away from the internet after you're done posting. Hide your phone if you don't have self-control, because girl, I get it, I don't have self-control either. That is why I have an accountability partner. That's what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. So if you can't hide your phone, Have an accountability partner hide your phone from you. Step away from it, seriously. And do things that are also gonna help you relieve your stress, like take a nap, take a bath, read a book, light a candle, go for a walk, get some exercise, make yourself feel better. Whatever is stressing you out, stop getting frustrated about it. Stop feeding into it. Stop allowing it to stress you out. If you're so worried about the future, stop worrying about the future. You can't control the future. You can only control what is happening right now in this present moment. So take it easy on yourself and relieve that stress if you are feeling stressed out. It's so bad for your feminine energy, girly. And I get it. I get stressed out a lot too, but you got to take time to take yourself seriously and relieve your stress. 
And the longer you're on social media and the longer you're doing it, you will get people that remind you why you're doing it, what your purpose is, what is so good about you. And I want you to take time to screenshot those things, remind yourself of those things often, read them to yourself. I'm actually going to be taking time to gather all the screenshots I've ever had of all the love comments I've gotten from you guys. And I'm gonna be putting it on my wall. So if you're on some higher level with this where you've been doing social media for a while now, I highly recommend you do this too. So you can remind yourself of all the good things that people have said about you, the things that keep you moving forward, the things that make you know that this is the reason you're doing it, that's what you gotta do. And one of the best ways you can start putting yourself out there is by gaining confidence. And if that's something you're interested in, I have a whole video on how to gain more confidence and get over your fear of being seen. So go check that out right here. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and comment down below what your favorite part about this video was, what you found most helpful. I'd love to hear from you, girly. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.